tree camo a hoodie it's comfortable as hell i wear it every night you know it's hot over here but at night i run the air con so when i run the air con i put that little hoodie on i watch uh you know a little bit of tv at night to wind down but uh in good conscience I just can't wear that stuff anymore because all I'm going to do is think about Mr. Mark Belade and his decision to force blue collar workers who have no choice that most of them can't quit. They have to do it. They can't quit because they need that job. They got they got kids. They got ex-wives. They got fucking car payments. They got medical bills. So they can't afford to quit like anybody else. They got to sit there and fucking take it even though it's their body. Oh, by the way, Mr. Belade. You're so worried about the workforce, but apparently you haven't listened to the CDC director tell you that the, the vaccine does not prevent transmission. It doesn't prevent that. It doesn't prevent you from getting it. All it does reportedly is lessen the effects of the person who gets it. So when you're saying you're protecting the workforce, for me, that's illogical, okay? You're not working in a bubble. That person has to drive to work, go to Walmart, and everything else. They're not living in a bubble, and then they just magically show up at your factory and they're exposed. I think you're just aligned with, uh, with Fauci, and I, I say Biden, but you know, Biden, uh, should be in a nursing home somewhere enjoying his golden year. So he's not even behind this. It's his handlers and everybody else that's pulling the strings up there. So when I say that, <clears throat> I don't want people to think I'm attacking him personally because I just I feel like he's just an old man they're propping up and making fun of. The world's making fun of him every time you put him out there. Anyhow, moving right along. I'm not going to burn this gear. It's good gear. What I'm going to do is just put it in a little trash bag here, and I'm going to put it out in my trash can and let the... Uh, let my trash guys, their locals that come around on a, little, on, a, on a tricycle, and they collect the trash every other day. I'm going I'm to pass this on to them gentlemen. They probably won't wear it because this shit's really hot here in the Philippines. They usually just wear shorts and a pair of flip-flops and a tank top. But if they if they need some gear to protect them, their welding or like that, well, they, they got some good Carhartt gear. But to them, they have no idea what the symbol means, and they'll have no idea about the, the politics surrounding it. But for this guy here... Every time I look at that emblem now, uh, it just symbol symbolizes Mr. Mark. Is it Belade? I hope I said your name right. And your decision, man, to go against the Supreme Court, go against the rights of individuals and the right of an individual to govern his or her own health and what they put in their body. I don't want to say I'm done with the brand. What I want to say is that I'm done with the brand until I'd like to see you reverse your decision immediately and also resign because you just self-identified. Now everybody knows who you are and what you stand for, and that doesn't support the brand. The rest of the people involved in your company, the investors, everybody else who's a stakeholder in Carhartt, I'd, I'd have a meeting and, and demand that you, you resign, brother. And it's not that we're canceling you for something stupid you said. This is detrimental to people's health and people's rights. And if you'll make a decision like that, you're not taking the company in the right direction. That's just me. That's one redneck who, who uh, has worn Carhartt gear for many years. So it's, you, you sort of basically pulled a Boeing. Boeing 737. A Boeing 737 used to be the safest aircraft in the world. I mean, it still is, the regular ones. And when you flew on a 737, you just felt safe. Right up until they screwed up the 737 MAX. And now when you say Boeing or 737, it means plane crash. They destroyed the brand by uh, by that screw up. And here you go. Now you've destroyed your brand for a lot of people. Now look, these little skinny jean wearing Call of Duty shitheads, they'll probably still buy your shit because they go along with that. So I guess now it might actually be better for you. You don't have to make the, the material so thick. You get that real thin material that stretches. Start making all your pants, you know, in skinny mode, like skinny jeans for the kids sitting in their basement playing video games. And uh, they might, you know, I don't know what they could do. Spill hot pizza sauce in their lap. Maybe your jeans could protect their their private parts, you know, from getting burnt. They could spill hot coffee on themselves or something like that. They might need your product. So maybe that is your target audience these days, is the skinny jean wearing Call of Duty shitheads playing games in their mother's basement and looking at midget porn. Maybe that's maybe that's who your target audience is and that's why you made the decision. If it is, and that's where your money's come coming from, I got it. I understand it. They're the younger generation. I will do it. I'm on the way out. So how many more pairs of Carhartts can I buy before I die? Not many, because they last a long time. What do rednecks and poor people really, really just want to be left alone? You know, we pay our fair share of taxes. If Uncle Sam calls and says go to war, we go to war. We don't ask questions. And when you're sitting there working, you know, minimum wage, 
out there in the elements or on that assembly line. You just want to put in your shift, do your time, clock out, or listen to that buzzer go off, and go home. And you want to be left alone. You don't want to go to work and have some fucking jackass in a coat and tie sucking Fauci and Bill Gates and Biden's cock tell you that you have to go get a fucking unproven 